G'day guys, Big Mick here. Uh, just a quick video today on how I paint my cars using Paint Builder, uh, which is the paid application on trading paints. So what we'll do is we'll open up iRacing first, go to my content, cars, and we'll find a car to paint. Let's paint there four. So now you can see the car there. We'll open up web browser, go to trading paints, and we'll go to paint cars, paint builder pro. Now you have to be a pro to get this app. So you do have to pay the $23.99 a year subscription. That's US dollars so it's around forty dollars a year Australian and you know, as you can see I've got a few paints here already so we go new select vehicle then find the one you want click continue okay so one of the first things I like to do is to change the base paint color just get rid of my head for a sec. Now it changes that to that the dark blue colour. Now if you press P, it'll update the car in trading in uh, iRacing. You have to have trading paints running though. So make sure you've got trading paints running. I should have said that at the start. Right, so now we can select a base paint. The base paints are these patterns down the bottom. So what I do is I go through all the base paints till I find one that I like. Yeah, I like that one there. So what I do is I look what's around it. As you'll see in a minute that it's they can be pretty hard to spot so we've got flame car that sort of stripe and then come on we want so if we click base paint add a base paint see what I mean there it's the mask of the car in these colors so we're looking for here we go flame car that stripey one and then there's the one we want so we'll click on that. Now yeah, it's added that in. You can see here oh, the different layers. And you can turn them off and on. So I'll turn that layer off for now. That just lets our base colour come through. Pattern 2 is green. Pattern 3 is that light blue. I might just change the colour of the green to white. white. <clears throat> Alright, so that gives us a nice contrast in blue stripe with a nice white stripe. Let's press P to update that again and then have a look. So now, yeah, I reckon that looks pretty cool. I like that. All right, now we can add logos, shapes, graphics. So we've got a whole heap of graphics here you can just put on the car and you can resize them, turn them, reverse them, everything. It's, this has had a pretty good update uh, from the old system, which was a little bit clunky, but you can still get it to work all the different shapes and paint and everything and then logos and text so what I'm gonna do is going to come over here got car mask which you can turn that off then you can't see what you're doing wireframe gives you a little outline of the shape of the car Uh, 
I don't usually use it, I just keep looking at what I'm doing. Sponsor blocks, I like this one. So now when you turn that on, you get these little pinky purpley squares. That is where you can put your logos or where it recommends you put your logos. Number blocks are where the number goes. Some cars have a like a background to their number um, and that's usually in the default decal stamp. If you don't like what the car's default decals are and it has one of these number blocks, you can turn it off. This car doesn't have one but you can turn it off. So the, the, the GT4s have it, I think the GT3s have it, it's like a big, big thing here. Turn it off, go to shapes, rectangles and turn your number block visibility on and that'll show you all the number blocks on the car. Then I just draw a rectangle. Now you can resize that to whatever and reposition it how you like. But now if we were to go P and go back here, see our number now has a black background. So if you want your number to stand out a bit more from your car, you can always do that. Or if you don't like the the background of the number that there's on the car and you can get rid of it, you can just do that. Um, it saves you having like a, a blue number on a blue car. You can just put a background on it. And then just click on it and we'll just get rid of it. number blocks and then you can have a grid if you want to try and line things up and you can resize this grid um, to have your low you want it and then yeah zooming in and all that sort of stuff um, turn that off right now sponsor blocks Let's add a logo. So we'll go insert my logos. Now I've already got heaps of logos here of what I've put on here myself. Let's put on the Big Mick logo. So there's my logo. I'm going to stick it down here now. This is, you can sort of see the shape of the car. So that's the nose of it. This is the side pod bit. I'm going to straighten that out a bit. Right, so there it is. If I press P, go back to iRacing, there's my logo. I reckon that looks pretty good. So I'm happy with that. So what I'm going to do now is right click and duplicate. Then I'm going to move it to the, the other pod. Now it's upside down, so I'll right click again, I'll go flop, right click again, and flip. Let's turn it around and put it roughly in the same spot. Now, if you wanted to get perfect, you put the grid on and then you line everything up perfect. But, you know for this video, that's good enough. I'm hit P, and then we've got Big Mick on both sides of the car. Now if you wanted to add your own logos, they need to be in a PNG file. So we can insert with logos. So I've got a file that I downloaded here before, which is just a just a smile and emoji thing that I <laughs> got. So what we'll do is we'll drag it across, drag it and drop. And now we've got our logo. Now, this is a transparent background logo. And we can put that wherever we like. Turn it. 
resize it. There it is. Ah, uh, we'll stick it down here. Hit P. Go back to iRacing. And there's our smiley. So it's easy. This is this is easy to use. This is so simple. Once you get the basics of it and understand how it works. Um, same with graphics. Let's throw something on here just for the fun of it. So we've got our graphic here. We can resize it. We can turn. <laughs> we can turn it. Hit P. Go back to iRacing, and there's our graphic there. Now, if, you, if you're looking here at the car and you're like, ah, oh, what is that part? I just can't figure out what it is. Grab a logo. Just stick it on there like that. Hit P. Go back to iRacing. And look, there's your logo there on the tail of the car. Sometimes there's parts where you put a logo on and it doesn't show. Um, I'm so I just sort of I'm guessing that it's underneath a part or something somewhere. So this is why I like to have iRacing open with trading page open and watching what you do. Um, and you can really get precise with where you're putting stuff and how big you make things and yeah, you get a visual of what the car will actually look like. Um, yeah, so like we'll stick it there for example I don't know what that part is but we'll have a look there you go, it's the side of the wing um, so let's get rid of this now now yeah, another thing with the base paints, just wants a box off. You can have more than one set of base paints on. So we've already got one set turned on right now. Uh, let's. You could mix and match. Yeah, you turn so. Now that we've got two sets on, you'll have one, one, two, one, and three, one, and that's your second set of base paints. So now we've turned the second set off. Here we've got that green stripe. So if we just leave the green stripe on and hit P, there you go. So now we've got the light blue, the dark blue the white and the green on here now. You can just turn it off and on and then if you wanted to get rid of it just click on it to say you didn't want one. Just click on it, delete and just get rid of that layer. not going to use our red layer at the moment delete it and now just above my noggin you can see base pattern 1 which we've, we already had turned off 2 is our white stripe 3 is our light blue stripe and then 2 1 is our green stripe you want to add text pretty simple just type in what you want to type There's heaps of different fonts
change the color of it. And you can add a stroke to that as well. So let's add a purple stroke. As you can see, you can make that thicker or thinner. We'll just go with four, hit create. And there it is. There's our big mic. And you can resize it, turn it. Hit P and have a look at what you've done. There it is, big mic up there. And it automatically saves as you're doing stuff. Um, but if you wanted to change the name of it, it's just up here. And then that'll save that as well. Uh, once you're ready, once you're finished, you come over here and just click race. And Trading Paints will recognize that and say, right, oh, that's the, the color I want on my car when I race. And it'll save that. There is race car save success successfully. And I think that's about it. Um, yeah, once you get into it and have a good play around, you can do some really good stuff on here. Um, you can add in whatever graphics you want, simply. Um, yeah. If you get really creative, you could probably paint individual parts. I, I'm a bit lazy. I don't bother with that. I just use what's already there and then add my logos to it. So. But yeah, um, yeah, that's it. So I hope that was helpful. Um, yeah, if there's anything I've missed, just let me know and. I'll hop back on here and have another go at it. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you later. <laughs>